the scanning range of the LAP is about uh, 25 centimeters, but it is possible to capture also longer or larger profiles uh, using the trace function. So in order to uh, capture such a profile, we have to capture it in uh, uh, several steps or at least two. To do this, let's switch to the capture detail mode. And here I have uh, narrowed the, the crop, crop envelope to simulate the case where we cannot capture the whole profile at once since I don't have such a long vessel at hand. So first I capture the upper part of the vessel with the, with the rim. And I go the detail capture detail mode again and now I capture the, the lower part with the with the bottom now I rotate and align these two parts they don't have to be oriented yet that's not important just aligned. Here I, I see there is a there is a loop that I don't want to hear, so I use the trim function here to just erase it. Make sure that the profiles align correctly and fill fill those, so set, set them to fill. Now I select both captured details and I click on the trace button to enter trace mode. Now the profiles have been rasterized. This is now, this is now a raster and I can simply by clicking it select it. I can even uh, use some uh, do some finishing touches here on the raster so I, I can use a, the erase masked area function to first I have to deselect it and erase the mask here so it doesn't get selected also I can add something here at the rim it wasn't scanned completely okay now I right click to disable the tool and left click it. You can see now the whole, the, the green area has been selected. And now I just click uh, Extract Profile. And now the profile has been added here as, as, a, as a proper profile. So these are, these are the details that I have captured. I can delete them. No longer need them and this is now the whole profile i can orient it now and work it with it as i would normally if i captured it in one piece